Hi, Madison. My name is Jeff, and I am a co-founder of Lobo Leads, and I believe my wife Megan spoke with you recently uh, about a quick website audit to show you where your company is currently ranking. Now, Megan did mention that you already have a web person, so hopefully this video can, at the very least, add some insight, uh, insight into Natal's uh, current online presence. So in this video, I'll go over a few specifics on how to rank your site and how to beat your competition online. So the three things I want to go over with you today are content, backlinks, and citations. Now content is going to be anything on the front page of your site that Google can read. So all the text, all the text within your images, and whatever your images are saved as. Now to be considered an authority in Google's eyes, you're going to want to have at least 1,500 to 2,000 words on your front page and you're going to want it to be stuff with content that has to do with buyer intent. So for you specifically, you'd be looking at things like Plumbers in Slidell, Louisiana and um, Materi Electrician, um, I'm hoping I pronounced that correctly and other keyword phrases along those lines. That way, when someone types in those searches into Google, your website is the one that pops up. Now, um, doing a quick review of your website, again, obviously you have someone professional that is doing it for you. Um, it is very clean, it's very easy to navigate. You have uh, various different chat buttons throughout here, uh, several calls to action. So um, how your website is currently built is, is, very, is done very well. So I, I, I did wanna compliment you on that. Um, one of the things that I will say is that, again, to be considered um, authority in Google's eyes, you'll want to make sure that you hit that 1,500 to 2,000 word mark on your homepage. And the reason for that is because it allows you to inject those keyword phrases throughout the home page and make it appear organic as opposed to just stuffing keywords in there because Google is smart enough to realize that that's what you're doing. Um, and that will actually play a part in the next uh, thing that I'm going to speak about because you are ranking very well for certain keywords, not so well for others that could be driving more business your way. So uh, again, I, I love how you've set up the set up the website. Um, you have all these different promos and you have a blog. And so you definitely spend a lot of time, money and energy uh, into getting this um, website to where it's at. So again, that's next thing I wanted to talk to you about. Um, is called backlinks. Now the thing with Google is that it can be a popularity contest based on uh, because they judge you based on how many websites are pointing back at you. And it's very important to remember not all backlinks are created equal. So what that means is you're going to get a lot more influence from a backlink that's related to your industry such as an electrician blog that mentions your company or a popular website that features various types of home services because they are similar to your own industry. You're going to get a lot more power and influence from something like that, a backlink like that, as opposed to uh, like your local Domino's Pizza, for example. So a tool we use to measure um, backlinks, website traffic, and keywords that you're ranking for is called Arabs. Um, so I went ahead and plugged in your uh, homepage here. As you can see, you have 331 backlinks from 67 referring domains. That means you have 67 different websites pointing back to you 331 times. You are targeting 317 keywords, which is a very healthy keyword backlog. And um, you have an organic traffic of 167. So 167 different users over the past month have visited your website. So across the board, those are very healthy numbers. Um, I would say that uh, and my, upon my initial research of your company, um, based on the number of different services that you provide, being HVAC, plumbing, and electrical, I was kind of expecting that organic traffic to be a little bit higher just because your website's so well developed. So I went ahead and I take, uh, had taken a deeper look into it, and it appears that the keywords that you are most ranking for um, they do have some decent volume, um, and some of them are geared towards your own specific name. There's only a couple that you can see here. So Natal Air Conditioning, um, you do get a lot of volume for that, and you're obviously ranked number one for it. So you, this is the ranked by traffic that's actually going to your site. But I did want to mention 
that, for example, uh, Plumbers in Slidell, Louisiana, they have 150 search volume over the past month, and you're ranked number 12th for them. And again, this all ties back to the very important relationship that keyword phrases and backlinks have on your website. So again, getting those uh, backlinks from credible sources that can play into the different keywords that you're targeting for. And the New Orleans area is just pumped full of people searching for your different services. So um, in my opinion, you sh your organic volume should be closer to like the three to four hundreds. Um, again, I don't know if you're trying to have that many customers, but that's where you could be because there is so much search volume out there for the different services that you have. So um, just wanted to bring that to your attention. Um, for example, I wanted to show you what one of your top competitors is, um, and they do spe just specifically electrical work. Uh, it's Stewart Services. They have 1.37 thousand backlinks from 159 domains, and their organic traffic, again, just for electrical services, is 343. So that's closer to what you would be shooting for in Eden. So they, I don't believe that they include any kind of plumbing services, or um, they may include some HVAC type stuff, but um, that's kind of what you're looking at there. So. Um, last thing I wanted to talk to you about is something called citations. Now, citations are very important because when someone goes to Google to search a particular service, for example, um, let me see if I can spell this one right. There we go. Mater, Materi. Um, first thing you'll notice is this uh, paid ads that come up here. Next one you'll see is this big chunk of space called a uh, Google Map Pack. And uh, it's very important to appear as one of these top three because, again, it takes up so much space on the front page. People really have to scroll far to start viewing these um, organic trap, uh, organic links down here. So the, um, the re reason these guys are in the top spots, it's not because they have more reviews or they're a better company or they've been around longer or they have higher reviews, whatever the case is. Um, it's simply the fact that they have the most citations and citations are literally just the name, address and phone number of your business listed across the various directories online. So house, porch, home advisor, Yelp, those are all different directories. There's hundreds of them out there. They just happen to have the most. And so uh, about 70% of the people that click into this map pack end up clicking on the top spot. So it's a very, very valuable spot to be in. Um, as you can see, Mr. Sparky of New Orleans is um, pacing there at the top. They're a very big company, um, but not unbeatable. So um, that's going to be it for the video. If you have any questions or if you'd like to discuss it further, please feel free to give Megan a call back. Her number is 210-865-0718. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the video.